in today's world, you can't sleep. Uh, it's, it's, there's no days off, there's no time to rest and just kick it. So you just keep going, you know? So even though the album just came out, like they got me in the studio tonight. I was in the studio last night till 6 a.m. We got a full day of like, you know, interviews and running around New York and then we got studio all night. You just keep going. And um, that's how you keep your chops up. Well, the only real way to fairly describe my sound is to talk about all the things I'm influenced by. And the thing is, there's such a wide range, you know, of what I listen to and, you know, what I pick up on and what I soak up and what I try to, you know, like channel back into my music. I mean, it is everything from, you know, 95 to 100 beats per minute, party music, that slap, that hypey stuff I grew up on, you know, to, to classics like mid-century, you know, doo-wop and pop records and flipping those. And that was really more so a mixtape that I did, like with that concept, you know, to living in New Orleans. And, you know, there was a long time where Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper in the world. And, um, you know, living in the South and just soaking up that energy and, you know, the slower beats, like a high time, like 70, 60 beats per minute, whatever. All that finds a way back into what I say when I write and when I make music, you know, cause I make music selfishly, as in like what I would want to listen to, you know, and I think that's where it starts creatively. And then it's on you and, and your experiences and your perspective, cause that's something nobody else can have. Only you can walk in your shoes and live your life and go to every place that you've been and see what you've seen. And that's what goes back into the music. A40, genuinely is the man. You know, you think about it, somebody that's had that much success for that long, it's their world, you know what I mean? Like, they can do whatever they want to do. You know, he, he didn't have to open his doors to me, and you know, and invite me over to his house to work on music. Like, getting to work with him on the Far Alone record was crazy. You know, just hearing his voice on my song. But um, I went to his house last week and worked in his studio on a record for him. And it was just crazy just getting to just kick it and vibe and just, you know, create with somebody that I've idolized for so long and, you know, and it's just inspiring that, um, you know, he's down to, to work with the youngsters, you know, and that's the thing. It's like he's been in this game so long and he's so wise and it's just, you know, you hang out with him and you just soak it all up, you know, I said he was just the coolest person ever. Well, first off, I gotta say, Two Chains has one of the best shows I've ever seen. And one conversation we had, he was just like, you know, people get it twisted. Like, I'm an entertainer. I put on a show for people, and and he so clearly knows what he does and who he is, and he does it so well. And when he's on stage, it's just so genuine and real. And all of them, I mean, it's like, here's the thing: none of this happens by accident. You might catch a hit, and that might land in your lap if you sit around waiting for it but you don't get as far as they have by accident. It's all for real, you know, and they all are like, they've done it for so long that in my shoes being, you know, the, the kid that's coming up, you know, they got a chance to open a tour like that. The best thing I can do is watch. They're right there if you just watch, you know, and you just watch and learn and just take your notes and, uh, and, and study the greats.